Hey, hello guys, this is JCR and today we are going to see uh, how to make this super cool easy slow-mo just by using a warp stabilizer and playing with the time interpolation properties and without any further ado, let's get started. And before jumping into this tutorial, I want to say something about this uh, time interpolation properties like uh, frame sampling, frame blending and uh, optical flow and uh, frame sampling is uh, nothing but a duplication of the frames which uh, duplicates the neighborhood frames and then uh, or otherwise it will uh, remove the frames to create actual perfect motion and uh, now frame blending is uh, nothing but same as the frame sampling uh, it has an additional feature that it will just uh, uh, blends with the neighborhood frames and it creates a smooth motion and then final one is uh, optical flow optical flow will uh, recreate a new frame by having a reference of this uh, neighborhood frame frames and then it will create a really cool super motion smooth motion and now here we are using Adobe Premiere Pro 2K19 version and if you want to follow this tutorial you can use your own footage <laughs> and here we have uh, two footages and both of the footages are 60 frames a second but uh, both footages have uh, one correction is done in this first sequence I have changed the shutter speed to 1 by 60 and then to the second sequence I have changed the shutter speed into 1 by 250 okay and now we are gonna first make the 1 by 60th footage in a slow motion form and first I'm gonna place the warp stabilizer to this footage and then I nested this clip and right click on this uh, footage you can see the time interpolation and click on that you can see optical flow click on that and again right click on this nested sequence you can see show clip keyframes and go to time remapping and choose speed okay hold the control button and make a point on the line to make a cut and then i'm gonna drag this line to 20 percentage and now you can see the sequence is stretched right and then uh, now to make it uh, smoother i'm gonna break the cut into half and then i'm gonna separate it to make it a uh, smooth uh, motion and now click on this uh, nested sequence and go to sequence and choose render selection and uh, premium pro does its job it will uh, render for a minute it will take some time and then uh, after that you can see yes uh, our cool super slow-mo is done but in this uh, uh, sequence uh, i don't like this uh, blur uh, in the specs or in the newspaper it's really noticeable right so i'm gonna make uh, apply this same processor to the 1 by 250 footage and we can see which is better so we are having this uh, second footage and then i'm gonna again place the warp stabilizer on it on it and then after that right click on this uh, footage and uh, nest this sequence again right click on this and uh, go to time interpolation and choose optical flow and then again right click on this footage you can see show clip frame and go to time remapping and speed and uh, place a cut on this line and uh, make this uh, make the speed reduce to around uh, 20 percentage and then make it smoother by break breaking the cut and then separate it a uh, little further and then I click on this nested sequence and go to sequence and click render selection and premiere pro takes some time to render it and here we go guys the super slow-mo is ready for this 1 by 250th sequence i think uh, this footage is uh, good i think so because i can't able to find uh, i can't notice any blur in this uh, footage and that's all guys that's all about this video and if you have any other ideas or any other doubts uh, about this uh, super slow-mo just hit me in uh, comments and hope you enjoy do like share and subscribe and keep following this year photography and finally stay home stay safe see you on next one bye bye